how I got into sustainability and uh, being aware of my own carbon footprint, for me it really applies with ceramics. I think about how this object is going to be living in this world. You know, if I'm going to be a maker of things, and I'm going to make things, and I want them to have fulfilled that purpose, I want to know that this, this object isn't going to be like in the belly of a bird one day and kill it. You know, this can be crushed up and used as in coral can grow on it. That's the worst thing that could happen. You know, it's not, <laughs> and that's not bad. That's not even bad. You know, it's great. Because it's been fired, this clay has been, you know, morphed and I've, it's man-made and I designed it and did this and did that. Well, if I break it, then I'll throw it in the trash. But I know if I throw it in the trash, it'll end up in the landfill. Maybe, maybe not, but most likely it will. But it'll just keep getting crushed and break down and break down and go back to its original, you know, back to another form in the earth. And I'm okay with that, but plastic and other materials and things like that, I don't want to be part of making that kind of stuff. Sustainability, I learned a lot from my dad and how important that is in, for the world to figure how to live with our surroundings. Our, our, we only have one Earth, one planet Earth. We got to figure it out. When they say sustainable, solar, different alternative energy, what do they mean? Are they comparing that to the carbon footprint of petroleum or what? We're seeing a whole new thing that's happening and it, and it, it it's not sustainable still. It's better, can be, but still not sustainable and it's not good enough. Gotta do better.